Hey YouTube, so today we're going to talk about expired domains. Well, if you haven't been in the game for some time, an expired domain simply means that it's simply a domain name that has expired. That means it hasn't been renewed for one reason or another. There are different reasons why people might fail to renew their domain names. So for instance, uh, someone can be closing business, so they feel like there's no need for them to hang on to the business domain name anymore. Some guys just flat out uh, forget to renew. And you know, of course, people get disinterested in their business and stuff like that. So those are some of the reasons why people might not renew their domain name. And you as an SEO or as a marketer, you can use those domain names to your advantage to make more money or build your brand or do whatever you want. So what can you use expired domain names for? Well, there are different ways you can repurpose expired domain names for your business. So the first thing, you can use them to build authority sites. You see, for the most part, expired domain names come with tons of backlinks and authority, which could have been gathered by the previous owner of the business. So if you get a domain name that has tons of links from high authority websites, and you build a website on that domain name, you're likely to get your site ranking high on Google within a short time rather than starting from with a clean domain name from scratch. So apart from building an authority website, you can use an expired domain name to do a 301 direct. A 301 direct, did I say 301? Yeah, a 301 direct. You guys know what a 301 direct, redirect is. Basically that means you take the website, then you redirect all the links uh, in the domain name back to any domain name of your choice. So let's say, for instance, you have a niche site that's around um, what topic? Let's say the outdoors. So you have a niche site that is about outdoor stuff. Then you get an expired domain that was also covering outdoor stuff. So what you do is you redirect all the links in that domain to your current domain name. And in that way, your current domain name acquires those links. It, uh, it gets more authority and then it starts ranking higher in the search engine rankings. And finally, you can also use an expired domain name to build your own private blog network. So we know private blog networks have been cutting a lot of slack of late. You know, all the big marketers are saying private blog networks are dead. You know, that's what they said about emails and social media. I mean, every year there's something is getting is, is dying like funnels. I saw some advert recently saying, I think it was from some cut. They're saying like click funnels is dead. I don't know what, like all this fear mongering about stuff is always there. It has always been there and it will always be there. So you might have heard in some groups, people are saying private blog networks are dead. But I can assure you that me and a couple of guys were just doing fine with our private blog networks and we're doing just, uh, and you're banking with them. So you can use expired domains to build your own private blog networks. Now, the most difficult thing when it comes to expired domain, domain names is finding a domain name that has good links and has a good uh, background. By background, what I mean is the previous owners used it for real business. It wasn't a domain name that was taken and spammed by other marketers. It was a real, a real uh, domain name for real business and it has some good links. It has a clean history. So it's really difficult to find such links. But with this tool, or let me just say with this service, then this whole process becomes easier. And the service that I'm talking about is called Domain Costers. So I'll just hop over here into my Domain Costers account so that you guys get to see how the service looks like. You will even see some domain names that are available and if you wish, you can go and snatch them up for yourself, either for an authority project or a private blog network, whatever your fancy is. So right now we're on the homepage of Domain Costers and you can see, of course, the intro is there. You guys can read. You can see they're adding over 500 domain names for, per month, some other stats over there. And the best thing is that you can even see the domain names without even registering. 
So let's just click here to show me the domain names. And there we go. Of course, it's going to be limited because you haven't registered, but you can still get an idea of the kind of domain names that you're going to find inside the service. Okay, so we are on the page. You can either choose budget domain names. Basically, those are domain names that are a little bit cheaper because their metrics are not that strong. But get it, get, get it right. The metrics are strong, but not just as strong as the other premium domain names over here. So we have budget domain names and you can then filter based on some other stuff, whether you want domain names that are used for, uh, that are good for affiliate marketing, you want domain names that are suitable for AdSense and some other stuff, you know, 301 redirections, PBNs. Then over here, you can also choose the price. So depending on how big your budget is, you can decide you want to be shown domain names that are from $39 to a certain price, that's to $5.95. You can choose the domain authority. Uh, just scroll the slider to decide what domain authority we, domains you want to shown. You can choose the live referring domains. But a couple of other things, you know, traffic, characters, the age, all that stuff. Then when you choose everything that you want, you can just click um, this. No, it's not reset filters. When you choose all that stuff that you want, then you can see the domain names over here. Now, I told you that you're going to see the domain names, but you can see their uh, start over here. That's because you need to log in and see the domain names. But you can have an idea of what kind of uh, domain names you're dealing with so for instance you can see this one is a music domain name uh, language is french it's the da is 23 live referring domains are 108 historical domain names are 519 you can even see some links and you can see of course the price so there are the uh, domains that are available so i'll just hop into my account so that you guys can see how the inside looks like I uh, log into with my Google. No, 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 no. My email, I believe, is that one. And there we go. Now we are inside. You can see that's my account over there. And now let's go back to the to the domains. Uh, okay, so I have to choose, let me choose domains that are suitable for affiliate. Uh, okay, my comp is hanging. Okay, budget, so affiliate domains, I've chosen affiliate domains. And there are the domains. So you can see the categories, the domain names are arranged according to category. This makes it easier for you to choose the appropriate domain name for whatever uh you want to build so if i had a fashion website i'll probably take this domain name and use it maybe it's a 301 redirect or maybe as a pbn for the domain for for the website or something like that so there are the domain names then you can see the category and the subcategory and the language so if you're building a spanish site this will be a good domain name since it's uh, in the spanish language you can see some more metrics, the DA, uh, live referring domains and stuff and stuff. So let's say you wanted to take this fashion uh, domain. You'll simply need to click here and you'll see the domain name. So if you don't want it, you can leave it, but you'll see it and you can do further analysis and stuff like that. So there we go. I've clicked there and there we have the domain name shop at .com. Yeah. So you guys right now who are watching this, if you're watching this live, you can go and snap it quickly. It's only $49. And well, any other domain names that you want, you can always like just click this magnifying glass and it's going to show the domain name for this Labrado and stuff. So if you're interested in that domain name, uh, you can maybe select it, add it to cart, and then of course, check out and buy it. So one thing that I wanted to let you know is that domain costers, they usually get their domain names. The domain names are registered with Namebrite. 
or drop catch yeah is it really drop catch no they use drop catch to register the domain names the domain names are registered on namebright so that means you'll need to open a namebright account uh, so that they can push the domain names to you of course opening an account is free so once you go through the checkout process let me see view cards there is my domain name 79 dollars when you go to the checkout usually takes about one day for the domain costers guys to get back to you and push the domain name to your account when you when you make when you when you check out they're going to send you an email let me see let me see if i can so this is the kind of email that you're going to get into uh, this is the kind of email you're going to get when you place an order with domain costers See, thanks for your order uh, please check for mails from the registrars and accept the domain name from our end. There was the domain name that I bought and you can see the registrar's name right. There was the total that I made and basically it's that. So when you log into your name right account, you're going to find the domain there. The domain is there. It has been pushed to your account. You simply need to accept it and it will come to your account. And then when it comes to your name right account, now the renewal will be the usual fees. I think Namebright renews for about $9.99 for dot coms, so it will just be the usual fee. So the high upfront fee that you pay at Domain Costas, that's simply a one-off fee. And of course you can find expired domain names by yourself, but why I love using Domain Costas is simply to save time. You see these guys, they vet the domain names for you, they check the links, they make sure the links are not spammy. They do a historical overview of the domain. They do a historical check of the domain so that they see whether it was spammed or not. So all the domain names that you find on domain costers have been checked for spam, are certified to be clean, and you can use them for authority projects, for PBNs, or just for 301 redirects. And that's why I've been using domain um, costers for some time from last year, sometime. I've been using them to build my PBN networks as well as just get domain names to power my existing projects. And that's basically an overview of domain costers. And if you guys want uh, to register the website, uh, make sure you use the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so I'm going to get some cut or something for referring you to them. But of course, it's at no extra cost to you. So basically, you will have paid for this video that I just made. So I think that's a good thing. <laughs> and that's that. So if you guys have any questions about expired domain names, uh, how to use them in your projects or stuff like that, just ask in the comment section below and I'll be able to offer you some insight about what I know about the domain names. As usual, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. I need some YouTube monies. I'm out.